Uh, hello, it is the 2nd of May and it's been a minute. You join us again at the beginnings of the Pyrenees on the Spanish side, where we will attempt a 4x4 trail that I found on the internet, which as we know is always true. The problem is, although it is beginning of May and it was quite warm in the south, it is not in the mountains. Hence, sweater again. Um, and to counteract that, we went on a little bit of a mission today and bought this. Okay, we are on our way to Rialp right now, which is um, there. And from Rialp we hope to cross into Andorra via one of those old smuggler routes, if they are clear of snow and mud and drivable. We are a little early in the season, so wish us luck. Okay, as it seems, we have set up camp in a beautiful spot. There is only one minor downside here. Um, we drove further up the trail than we intended to and now we're at about 1800 meters, which means it's probably going to get really cold really soon. Which means that I have to figure out how to use that okay I have to admit it's not the most genius solution but it's the best solution we can come up with right now this plugs into the heater outlet oh wow and it is warm touch it feel it Me lucky lucky yes <laughs> the diameter is too big it's pinched but at least it is a solution to heat the tent which we will need even though the view is beautiful up and as you can see we survived the night even though it was pretty cold um, and we slept head down which is never a good idea but I think we're nearly ready to go up there whatever that may be and whatever that may look like This thing drove up to this view. Welcome to Col Deso. It's, it's, I mean, unreal. Unreal.
I mean, if this is what defeat looks like, I think it's all right. As you probably didn't quite see, there is snow up ahead on the trail and it's so much that you can't go through. And there is only one motorcycle trail at the very edge and the trail is otherwise completely snowed in, probably a meter or deeper. So we have to turn around here and we're like, 85% of the trail. Uh. As you can see, it's the next morning and it's not the top of a mountain. Yesterday, we went to uh, the second trailhead that I found, only to be told by a nice lady that um, the trail is closed until end of the day. So instead of sleeping on a mountain, we turned around and tried to find a place to sleep in a very crowded valley here, which is why this is not as picturesque as we normally sleep. And that concludes our quest to not get to Andorra via one of the old smuggler routes. Hope you enjoyed it nonetheless.